three thousandths of a second separates them up front. Advantage, Laster. Winlight, Laster. How about four total for Travis Laster? 004, dead zero, 999 on the 60 foot. As Stevenson was 007, dead five, eight foul behind. Travis Laster, four, take eight, going four, ten, and moves on to round number four. Get some of that, huh? Red, white, blue, run sticker dragsters. Red, white, blue, run sticker dragsters. We would take you in the lanes. Red, white, blue, run sticker dragsters. We would take you in the lanes at this time. Keith Russell, you are the dragracesolutions.com wait and see buy run. So if you have not made it to the lanes yet, please do so and let everybody know who you are in the lanes so they can guide you in the right spot. Identical double O for reaction time. They are eight foul combined, leaving the starting line. Quine Spine, double O four, dead one, five total. Gets it done as Randy Lynn Ship was double O four. Breaks out five thou, had a foul to work with. Gets their six thou, breaks out five thou. Needed to take a foul or less, and that would have gotten the wind lights. So Quan Spain, left side, moving on. Dave Triplett and Tebow. Tyler Bohannon, next pair. Triplett, left side, dialed in at 459. Tebow, right side, dialed in at 463. That is correct. Dave Triplett, two-time Million Dollar Race winner. And Tyler Bohannon. Thousands of a second, separates them up front. Advantage, triplet. Win light, triplet, 003, one above zero, 13 total. He will take the win as Bohannon was 009. Breaks out, goes 462 with a four. On to 463 dial in. Had a window of opportunity. Breaks out six thou, gets there at 10 thou. Needed to take four thou or less. That would have gotten him the win light. Dave, triplet, moving on. Leighton Sumter and Timmy Miller. Sumter, left side, dialed in at 454. Timmy Miller, right side, dialed in at 483. So once again, all run color Sticker dragsters, you have been called. All color run sticker dragsters, you have been called to the lanes at this time. Sumter as well, 007, 455 with a six on the 454 dial in. Timmy Miller missing the tree right there. You don't see that too often out of him. 481 with a nine on the 483 dial in. Breaks out by 11 thousandths, but the 051 reaction time did not help matters one bit. Left side, winner in that pair. Brandon Jones and Barry Brown, next pair. Jones, left side, dialed in at 515. Barry Brown, left side, dialed in at 445. Separates them up front. Advantage Brown, win light Jones. 023, dead one, 24 total. Gonna get the win as Barry Brown was 015 on the tree. Breaks out 9 thou, gets there 18 thou. Needed to take nine or less, and that would have gotten him the win light. Brandon Jones, left side, moving on. Steve Dweck and McKenna Brown, next pair. 
Dweck, left side, dialed in at 482. McKenna Brown, right side, dialed in at 459. Advantage off the starting line by 14 thousandths of a second. Go to go to Brown. Go to take the win as well. 021, 460 with a zero. 31 total. Locks out Steve Dweck, who was 035 on the reaction time. Goes dead on with an eight. And still 12 foul behind at the finish line. McKenna Brown moving on. Patrick Miller and Tom Dauber are next pair. Miller, left side, dialed in at 473. Tom Dauber, right side, dialed in at 461. Tom Dauber, the Rupert Alki Carbs, Beyond All Racing Products, and Rare Morrison Racing Engines. Dragster over here on the McFarlane Racing side of the track. Of a second, separates them up front. They are double oh one total combined, leaving the starting line. How about Patrick Miller? Five total, double, triple zero, dead on with a five. As Tom Dauber was double oh one, one above four, good enough for ten foul behind. Patrick Miller, five total, and moving on. Will Holloman and Kayla Costello, our next pair. Holloman, left side, dialed in at 449. Kayla Costello, right side, dialed in at 467. Going to be the winner as Costello turns it 013 on the red side. Hallman, 021, shutting it down early. Goes 474 with a 5 on that 449 dial in. Saving the parts and pieces for round number four. Costello, after the red light, goes 465 with a 2 on the 467 dial in. Next pair, Michael Carpenter and Curtis Allen. Carpenter, left side dialed in at 488. Curtis Allen, right side dialed in at 5 flat. Once again, all run, color, sticker, dragsters. You have been called for this round. All run, color, sticker, dragsters. You have been called for this round. Michael Carpenter going to be the winner as Curtis Allen turns at double 04 red. Carpenter 025, 487 with a 7 on the 488 dial in. Curtis Allen, once again continuing the trend, red or dead, double 04 red, and dead on with an 8. Michael Carpenter moving on. Tim Butler and Travis Laster, next pair. Butler, left side, dialed in at 488. 
Travis Laster, right side dialed in at 4.31. Light going to go to Laster, 014 on the tree, 430 with a four on the 431 dial in, breaking out six thousandths of a second. As Butler had the better 010 reaction time, breaks out by 12 thousandths of a second. So Travis Laster, Lester of the pair, and moving on. Jay Adams and George E. Bell, our next pair. Adams, left side dialed in at 486. E. Bell, right side dialed in at 450. We're going to go to Adams on the left side. 037, dead one, 38 total. He will take the win as Ebel had the better. 015 reaction time goes 448 with a zero on the 450 dial in. Getting there by 43 thousandths of a second. Breaks out by two hundredths of a second. Needed to take 23 or less. And that would have gotten him the win light. So Jay Adams moving on. Corey LeClaire and T Rock. Troy Williams Jr., right side. Williams dialed in at 460. Corey LeClaire, right side. Make that left side. Dialed in at 488. Advantage on the starting line is going to go to T Rock right side. Wind light, T Rock, 018, 461 with a two on the 460 dial in. He would take the win as Leclerc was 059 on the tree, one above one, and 40 behind at the finish line. So T Rock moving on. I see we have some celebrities in our first pair of bleachers over here. I see. Mr. Bobby Jester, I see Beef over there. <laughs> Matt Ferraro and John Siegel are going to be our next pair. Ferraro, left side, dialed in at 488, and John Siegel. Right side dialed in at 439. John Siegel is going to be the winner as Ferraro turns a double 05 red. Siegel, 7 dead, 5. 12 total. Going to take the win. Ferraro after the red light, 487 with a 4 on the 488 dial in. Siegel moving on. Final call. Dragsters for round number three. Final call, Dragsters for round number three. Dragster formerly driven by Sean Sarah is in the left-hand side. I know it's not Sean driving it because Sean's standing right beside it. So no driver information on the left-hand side. But the dial-in is a 475. 
as is Aaron McCullough over on the right hand side. Also, dialed in at 475. Thousandth of a second separates them up front. Advantage left side. Wind light left side. Two dead. Four six total. Locks out Aaron McCullough, who was 007 on the reaction time. Breaks out four thousandths. Gets there three thousandths. Has absolutely zero to work with. Left side. Winner in that pair. Kendall DeApril and Trip McCarty. Next pair. DeApril left side dialed in at 488. McCarty, right side, dialed in at 477. No box, round number four, needs you two lanes five and six, please. Tim Butler, you are the wait and see by run. So once again, no box, round number four, needs you two lanes five and six at this time. Tim Butler, you are the wait and see by run. McCarty going to be the winner if the April turns at 009 red. So McCarty, 028, shutting it down early. Goes 488 with a 4 on the 477 dial in. The April after the red light, 486 with an 8 on the 488 dial in. So Trip Man moving on. Troy Williams and Derek Hubbard are going to be our next pair. Troy Williams from Virginia, left side, dialed in at 463. Derek Hubbard on the right-hand side, dialed in at 442. Derek Hubbard almost doing his Stanley Albritton Jr. impression by backing up at a brisk pace. Don't know what happened, don't know if the thing stalled or what happened, but got her backed up. Registration is closed for this evening. We will open up tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Final call for the fuel station. It will close at 9 p.m. this evening. Final call for the fuel station. It will close at 9 p.m. this evening. Advantage on the starting line. Going to go to Hubbard, right side. Going to turn that to a win as well. 024, 443 with a 3 on the 442 dial in. As Williams was 033 on the tree, breaks out by 17 thou, had a shot, gets there by 21 thou. Needed to take a lot less than that in order to have gotten him the win light. So Derek Hubbard moving on. Amy Farrow and Mark Kelly, next pair. Farrow, left side dialed in at 463. Mark Kelly, right side dialed in at 469. Hank Mulligan says I'm loud. I'm not loud. I just project. That's all. Hank <laughs> Mulligan says I don't need the mic as well. Two hundredths of a second separates them out front, and one of them was 20 on the tree. Wow. Amy Farrell was triple zero and breaks out. When Mike going to go to Mark Kelly, who was 020 on the tree, dead on with a three, 23 total. Farrell. Like I said, perfect triple zero, breaks out nine. Thou gets there a lot more than that. The right side winner in that pair. Billy Dunn and Nick Ferraro, our next pair. Billy Dunn, left side, dialed in at 470. Nick Ferraro, right side, also dialed in at 470.
advantage on the starting line. Going to go to Nick Ferraro, right side. Going to take the win as well. 007, two above five. Going to take the win as Billy Dunn was 044 on the tree. Dead zero. And 12 thou behind at the finish line. Nick Ferraro moving on to round number four. Once again, no box. Round number four. We need you to lanes five and six, please. I believe we are down to semis in that class. We are down to three of you. So those three, we need you to lanes five and six at this time. Tim Butler, you are the buy at three. Randy Kraus and Larry Hamby, our next pair. Kraus, left side, dialed in at 479. And Larry Hamby, right side, dialed in at 489. Right side, gonna take the win as well. 019, one above nine, gonna take the win as Randy Krause was 026 on the tree, 478 with a nine. Breaks out by a foul, gets there at 13 thou. Needed to take 12 or less. And that would have gotten him the win light. So Larry Hamby moving on. Kevin Abbott and Brianna Costello, next pair. Abbott, left side dialed in at 463. And Brianna Costello, right side dialed in at 472. Door car, red, run stickers. We will take you in lanes five and six at this time. Door car, red, run stickers. We will take you to lanes five and six at this time. Brianna Costello, winner in that last pair. 026 on the tree. 471 with a seven on the 472 is Kevin Abbott. Turns it 081 on the red side. Goes down on with a two, no good. Tim Butler, we need you to the lanes, please. Tim Butler, we need you to the lanes, please. Tim Crone and Jason Bator, next pair. Crone, left side dialed in at 499. Bator, right side dialed in at 453. Advantage on the starting line by 25 thousandths of a second. Going to go to Bator. Going to turn that to a win as well. 006, 454 with a six on the 453 dialed in. As Tim Crone was 031 on the tree. Breaks out by a lot more than he took. No good. Jason Bator going to be the winner in that pair. I believe that's Marie Mueller driving Steve's dragster. I got a correction from Hank Mulligan. It is Marie driving Steve's dragster. I wouldn't say it's a correction. It's just a offer or a suggestion. But I just got, I got lucky. I cheated. I saw her back there by the car in her driver's suit. We'll go with that. Yeah. Wow. My, up on you, my future wife, Marie Muller. <laughs> Marie's in trouble here, Justin Fordyce, 010 on the tree, double breakout, 470 with a five. On the 471 dial in, Mueller, 055 on the tree, goes 453 with a zero. On the 454 dial in, Justin Fordyce, moving on. Uh 
Now, there's a lot of purple there, Joe. You could almost have that hammer tone with it on the roll cage, too. That's a nice looking car. Scott Gibson Jr., left side, Sanford, Florida, 452 the dial. <coughs> Got Claude DeBonis over here on the right hand side, Hank. He is dialed in at 454. <coughs> Claude is in the construction business. Seventh out under for Scott Gibson to get the win. Claude DeBonis in the right. Double O one red. Eighteenth out under. Well, that is this that is the silver fox. Yeah. Michael Rourke, four fifty four in the left. CJ Keen four forty six in the right. Round four, door car, red and white run stickers to the lanes for the FTI performance. 50K, please. Mm. When you go, you have a sweatshirt? I do not. Mm. I have a jacket that I'm going to bring. It's perfect. Mm. Would you like a shawl? Mm. I've got a blanket to bring it. That would work. I like the blanket. Except it smells like smoke from the girl. Like. Oh, I was going to tell you, right above the couch, there's like two blankets. Right side, 31 and 2 over for CJ Keen in the right to win. Left lane, Michael Rourke, 46 and 100th under, no good. Took two, could have took 10 or less and got a win out of it. Take the lead, 028, goes 444 with a nine on the 435 dial in. Do you not know what happened to Butter on this one? He was 205 on the reaction time. Don't know what happened if he didn't have the crossover set in the box properly. Goes 483 with a nine on the 481 dial in. So left side, moving on. Carson Brown and John Brandon, gonna be our next pair. Brown left side dialed in at 464. And Johnny Brandon right side dialed in at 470. Brown going to turn that into a win as well. 13, one above two. Going to take the win as Brandon was 025 on the tree. Dead seven, 32 total. Good enough for seven. Foul behind. Carson Brown moving on. I just got the video of Oki. He just landed in a private jet. Wow. 
His, his guys win him a little money this morning. He just blew through all of it. <laughs> he don't care. Coming in hot, Oki. So does that mean Oki's going to quit texting us for updates? He just He's here so he can he, find out? He's 45 minutes out. 45 minutes out. So Terrell Sinclair and BT, next pair. Sinclair, 475 to dial in. BT, 454 to dial in. Four thousandths of a second, separates them up front. Advantage, Sinclair, it is a double breakout. Wind light going to go to BT. 452 with an eight. On the 452 dial in, 12 thou under. Terrell Sinclair goes 471 with a seven. On that 475 dial in, a lot more under than BT was. Brandon Taylor, moving on. David Bird Jones and Isaac Harris, next pair. Jones, left side, dialed in at 456. Isaac Harris, right side, also dialed in at 456. FTI Performance 50K, round four, door car red, white, and blue. That's all the colors. If you're a door car and you're in round four, it's your time to come up and shine. Show your friends and family what you can do on Motor Mania TV yet tonight. Well, they're older. It's hard to hear the preacher. 33 thousandths of a second. Separates them up front. Advantage of Jones. Wind light. Jones. 007. 458 with a 1 on the 456 dial in. Isaac Harris. 039 on the tree. Breaks out 6 thou. Still leaves him 5 thou behind. David Bird at Jones. Moving on. Downtown McKenna Brown in the left-hand lane out of Boca Raton, Florida. Her mom, Anissa, and her dad, Cleve, did get to come today and brought us some Christmas candy, homemade Christmas candy. Thank you so much, Anissa. Tyler Bohannon, right side, 463. It's in the bag wherever it went. Yeah, help yourselves. They're like peanut cluster. Thousands of a second, separates from up front. Advantage, T-Bow, wind light, T-Bow. Six, dead, seven, 13 total. This McKenna Brown was 0-12 on the starting line. Goes dead, five, 17 total, and four, thou, behind at the finish line. T-Bow, moving on to round number next. Steve Dweck and Mr. Unbeatable so far today, Stephen McCrory. Dweck left side dialed in at 484. KNN Bounty is still in play. Steve Dweck has a possibility. The KNR Bounty is in effect for this entry right here. If Steve Dweck can take out Stephen McCrory, he will win the KNR delay box. Oh, gift certificate, very nice. of a second, separates them up front, advantage McCrory, and going to take the win as well. Two, a dead eight, ten total. Going to lock out Steve Dweck, who is 0-13 on the tree, one above four, and 17th out behind at the finish line. So Steve McCrory, ten total, and moving on. Aaron McCullough and Travis Laster are going to be our next pair up. McCullough, left side dialed in at 474. And yet again, the dial-in goes further and further down. Travis Laster, right side, 409. Oh, Going to be the dial-in on the right-hand side. So you know these microphones are electronic, right? And you can just kind of talk into them very gingerly, and, and then it'll, that broad that works? and it'll broadcast louder out there. Is that how that works? Really? Well, it has in the past. Is it really? Yeah, like if you start out really loud, the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Right. 
I'm not loud, I just project. Oh, 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 oh. I just project, Hank. You sound like my mother. <laughs> it's in my head. <laughs> One thousandth of a second separates him up front. Advantage McCullough. One light McCullough. 029, 475 with a four. On that 474 dial in. Laster was 030 on the tree. 999 to the 60 foot. 411 with a two. No good. Left side, winner in that pair. This will be our dragracesolutions.com. Buy run for this round of dragsters. Keith Russell. Left side dialed in at 467. Oh, 10 reaction time down to the eighth mile. 464 with a three on the 467. Gonna do it for this round of dragsters and this round number three as well. Round James! Customer service and technical support second to none. FTI Performance Converters and Transmission give you the winning edge. Just ask any of our customers, like 2014 IHRA Top Dragster World Champion Kevin Brannon, or the 2014 IHRA Super Rod World Champion Mike Roth. We are real racers with real experience. Call us today at toll free at 866-726-8358 or visit us on the web at www.fdiperformance.com. Santa has a new sleigh this year. Trusted by all since 1960. What you want, when you want it, at a price you want to pay. Jays! Search no more for loose sockets. Hanson Global, the innovator of the number one requested socket organizer since 1995, is here to help. Socket size is clearly marked on posts for instant identification to save you time and money. These 100% made in the USA organizers are perfect for both professionals and DIY mechanics. Contact Hanson Global by calling toll free at 1-877-793-5213 for your local distributor.
three no box door cars remain. Janine Pickett, left side, we only have one pair. She dials up 654. Kevin Pollard, 549, right lane. Tim Butler waiting in the burn box. Round four, FTI performance, 50K, about to begin. You think the fuel tank is still in that pinto? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hope they moved it to the front. Kevin Pollard, he gives it a rip and a half to go one over one, 24 on the tree. He takes three thou, forcing Janine Pickett to break out. He wins it both ways. Kevin Pollard advancing, he'll face off against Kevin Pollard. Excuse me, Kevin Pollard will face off against Tim Butler. Butler stages it up and on his 605 dial he's going to test everything. 41 on the tree, he left a little meat on the bone there, runs dead eight. Like I said before, he and Kevin Pollard will square off in the no box final in round five. Right now, round four resumes with box door car. Coming around the corner into the burn box. FTI 50K Friday box, delay box door cars coming out. Door car, final call to lanes five and six, please. Left lane, Todd Burks, 642 the dial. Right lane, AJ Ash, 572 the dial. Rad Torque Systems, I can see Mosier on there. Drag coverage. Todd's got a blank slate. So if you're wanting to get into drag racing and put a sticker on somebody's car, there's, a, there's one for you. Oh, one dial red in the left lane for Burks. No good. AJ Ash, 17, and lets out. Winner right lane, AJ Ash. And he's still doubled, I hear. Garrett Griffith, left side. 620 the dial in the left. What do you got there, Joseph? Dwayne Roberts, right side, 597 the dial. Roberts out of Lakeland, Florida. I 
What's up, Team Puerto Rico? Look like they had a pig all sewn up yesterday. Yes. That's Thirteen for Garrett in the left lane. Dead eight. Twenty-one total. That locks out Dwayne Roberts. Twenty-four. Lamp leaving. Winner left lane. Garrett Griffith. Yes, Team Puerto Rico was up here. They wanted to make sure you got your share. <laughs> they were looking specifically for Hank. <laughs> That's my boys. My boy, Blue. Darwin Garcia and Carlos Arroyo Jr. and and wife and friends delivered some of the pork that they were cooking up. We got a race. Six and 11 up front. Oh, six dead three in the left for the win for Garrett Browning. Chad Duke was 11 and one over, no good in the right. Winner left lane, Garrett Browning. Skinny Kenny Underwood, left lane. Jags.com, it says Delaware, Ohio. I'm betting he's going to win her in Florida. Ryan Barnes on the right side, dials up 510. Extremely beautiful paint on that Camaro. It ain't ugly. You just like the engine hanging out the top. I, I like all of it. That is pretty cool, though. Big spoiler. Big, big wheelie bar. Double oh four one above zero for Kenny in the left lane for the win. Ryan Barnes seventeen seven thou under he was locked out. Yeah, you call it red. That means all. Oh, man. Red run sticker dragsters FTI 50k Friday to the lanes please. Red run sticker dragsters fourth round to the lanes please. Josh Gannant left side 602 the dial. Oh I caught law she's got an error. Josh's name is spelled G R it's spelled G N. It's spelled correctly on one of his entries. Oh, maybe he spelled it wrong. Sean Lingerfeld goes 11 red in the right lane, ending his evening. 19 dead, 7 for Gannett in the left lane. Go, Joshy. You know, which is abnormal is we've not seen him or Tina in the tower yet this week. How about that? I mean, Tina always feeds me. It's pretty crazy. Like it's not like burgers and fries. Or she she cooks up some stuff. Wow. I can't pronounce the names and stuff, but it's good. I bet there's a lot of cooking goes on out here at these races. I mean, you got everybody from the different geographical areas, you know. I know somebody was making shrimp tacos that I couldn't participate in. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, it did. But I did get a blackberry homemade margarita delivered up here. What? Thanks to Aaron and Gene Milton. Yeah, they take good care of you. They do. We get along very well. Which parlayed into me, which was nice. Go. So I'm riding on your coattails, Joe. <laughs> That's hard to believe. Well, I do that a lot for food, you know. <laughs> Jason Kimbrell, right side, 608 dial. Cameron Fredrickson, 604 dial, left side. Starting line advantage goes to Cameron Fredrickson. He turns it into a win. 11, 3 over 8, gets there, 2 thou, 2 thou, that's close, that's inches, I wouldn't know, I never have my eyes open down there like that, <laughs> no, me either, it's kind of scary, <laughs> you're going so fast, you don't want to crash your car, I, I could drive the starting line better, I have decided, if I, I did the, the figures by just closing my eyes after I let yeah, go, yeah, just let her go and rip it, I watch the starter's hand because you humanly can't react that fast, double O's like that. <laughs> You've got to watch him flip the switch to catch it. Yeah. Especially super comp. Ain't no way somebody can leave on a pro tree like that. Some people, that'd be, they're cheating. Austin Logan, left side, 644 the dial. Jared Nauman, right side, 557 five, the dial. Gets after it on the starting line. Four. 
One over zero, 14 thou total, locks out Austin Logan. Not easy to do, Austin, tremendous driver. How weird, Westbury, left side. Harleyville, South Carolina, wife Laura looking on. She don't have her bright orange tennis shoes on today though. She's usually a neon type of person. 556 the dial in the left, Tucker Creech, 594 the dial on the right. I try to give you all the useless information I can in between dial lines and stuff. Well, yeah, there's yeah. only so much stuff that's on this screen, so. Well, what's on that screen is normally right. We know that, Law. Well, I'm not doubting any of it from here on out. Howard. <laughs> Tucker Creech means business. Three dead six taken 68 he took all of it and then he, there might be none left over for next round but he took all of it this round tucker creech moving on nine total wow iron gate in the right lane that's a pro stock s10 truck there david peterson 554 the dial in the right out of indianapolis indiana it says scotty richardson in the left 641 the dial in for sr1 I don't know that he's ever raced that truck before this weekend. I've never seen, I, I, mean, I don't know. run yeah. something in a Mockley or something the other day in a rain. 10 in the left, 16 in the right. 10 and one over for Scotty Richardson in the left lane gets the win. 16 in the right for David Peterson. He's seven thou under, taking 15, no good in the right. Mark Talmadge now left lane, 601 his dial. Tom Orr continuing to march through the field. He's even got brake lights on that Corvette Roadster. It's just fantastic. It's all red and the brake lights are red too. 530 the dial for Orr. Red, white, and blue dragsters. Red, white, and blue dragsters. We need you to the staging lanes as soon as you can make it. Reaction time advantage goes to Mark Talmadge. He turns it into a win. He's 11, one over seven. Takes out the Canadian in the right lane, Tom yep. Orr. Tom Moore having trouble getting down the track, I think. Seven over. Oh, yeah. Best thing you do is let me drive that. That is a beautiful car. That'd be a fun ride, I'll tell you that. Yeah. What did this run? 537s or something? Yeah, 537. He's been dialed 530 and running that pretty hey, much all day. He's got me day. going 520s. What's he thinking? Why would you even let me drive your car if you had one that nice? Nobody else does. <laughs> I got a dragster you'd fit in. Once, yeah. once it's running. But well, you didn't say you'd let me drive it. You ain't, you ain't, well, you ain't, I wouldn't you? You ain't stupid. Wow. <laughs> it drives itself. Kate Birch, left lane, 568 the dial. Maryland Laster, 571 the dial in the right lane. I mean, that's what all the door car guys say. You, it doesn't take anybody to think you can drive a dragster. Just let mm. go and that's all you do. Double O four dead six for Maryland. Ten total for Maryland in the right lane, and she takes out Gage Birch, who is seventeen and dead five. Winner, right side, Maryland Lester. Right, which is right. It's just one of them has an R in comes up on the screen instead of G N. One is G N. One is G R. That's all. I didn't. I didn't pick that out. That you put that on Hank. <laughs> I'm done questioning you. Randy Folk, 588, right lane. Ryan Harum, left lane, 545. They're gone. Randy's in trouble. Oh. 14 dead two, taking 25 in the left lane for the win for Ryan Harum. Randy Folk, three thou under, no good in the right lane. Winner, left lane, Ryan Harum. 
I'm just getting back up here in the booth, tower, headquarters, race control, race control CIA, Homeland Security. So I don't sure. I'm not sure who still has doubles in yet. So I'm sure in the fourth round we have a couple. Carly Holbrook, left side, 695, the dial. Dave Triplett, right side, 577, the dial. I think it's the first lap he's made in the right lane this week. Fourth out difference in the reaction time, favoring Carly. She turns it into a win, going dead seven, leaving only three thou for Triplett to work with. He takes seven thou, breaks it out four thou. I can't add it all up, but he came in second. Carly moving on. Jay Adams left side, 659 the dial. Mark Mullen, right side, 549 the dial. Separated by only three foul this time. Jay Adams with the advantage off the starting line, goes dead six. Squeezes too tight a door for Mark Mullen to drive through as he breaks it out three thou. Needed to go dead zero and, and wish. Travis Logan now left side, 618 the dial. Looking forward to the wheel stand he's going to lay down or put up. Matt Brewer right side. 585 the dial. They must all be stacked up in one lane. A lot of cars that haven't been in the right lane in the right lane this round. Okay. Matt Brewer announces that he's going to be a force to reckon with. Trip zero, one over five. Gets behind three thou. But the only reason that is, is Travis Logan had to break out to do so. Dylan Mudd, right lane, dial 640. Stevie Dustin, left lane, 616, his dial. Go Dogs, written on the back window, the FPI Nova. Three thousandths in the bank for Dylan Mudd. He turns it into a win. 16, dead eight. Doesn't leave enough room for Stevie Dustin to get the job done. Dylan Mudd moving on. David Braskett, left side, 612 the dial. Robert Joyner. 575 in the right lane. Off they go. Reaction time advantage to the Mopar. Finish line advantage to the Opal. Brasket 28. Two over one. Gets there, 3 thou. Robert Joyner regulates the finish line and gets himself behind. John joins left side, so that is, uh, what, a 66 Chevelle? Yep. 67. I like that here. Yeah. That's a clean, nice car. 
587 in the left, Todd Burks, there he is. He's around with second entry. Right lane, 643. Joe, you ever give consideration to like how good you are at point break you know here around? Where we start with people when they have more than no. You gotta stop in September, October. Well, I hate to say October. it, but I, I spent 14 months in a row last year thinking I'd make myself Winter, better. right side, 40, dead zero for Todd Burks. Sorry about that. I, I may have peaked too early in that 14-month stint. But, yeah, you put years and years and years uh, uh, behind that. Uh, it's not easy to come from up north, down south, and get the job done. Yeah. My dad and I talked about that a lot. You know, back in the 90s, chasing Scotty and Edmund in points. I mean, that oh. was just like... Brutal. Heat yourself up to death and brutal. Slit your wrist. Garrett Griffith, 46 on the tree, left lane. David Bird Jones crushes the tree, 15, 2 over 7, gets their 25, thou, and advances to round, I'm going to say 5. Vicki Folk once asked me, she's like, don't they ever have a bad day? Like, don't they ever fight with their wife or kid gets suspended at school or something, you know? I'm like, it doesn't look like it, Vicki. And if it if, if that happens, it doesn't seem to bother them. That's, All that's, they do is win. Win in one category wasn't enough. Then they started doubling up, you know? I'm like, really? Nothing says greedy like that. That is greedy. Then they implemented the Scotty rule. You couldn't race Super Street in any other category because he won so many of them. <laughs> he doubled up so many times in Super Street or Super Comp, Super Gas, or whatever. They're like, yeah, if you're entered in Super Street, that's an entry level class. You can't do that no more. They changed the rules for the guy. And we still built race cars and went racing. Right. How stupid am I? Well, all it takes is one run to beat somebody, right? But we had a lot of fun driving out to California and stuff and with my dad and brothers and yes, flat tires and running out of gas and trailer on fire, you know, and <laughs> I mean, police chases, but it wasn't us, but we weren't quite sure why, why are all these cops behind us? <laughs> and here it was on TV, we we're watching on the TV, it was a nasty, it was a high speed police chase for some guy. <laughs> Gannant, back around. Cameron Fredrickson, back around. Gannant, 17 and 1 over, getting there first by 9 thou. Gonna take the win and take one of Cameron Fredrickson's entry. Josh Gannant, left lane, the winner. Is this our last one? Oh! AJ Ash taking the dragracesolutions.com by run. Five seventy-two on the dial. Gulfport, Mississippi's finest. He said he's got his puppy with. I gotta make a stop down there and see him. I'm a big fan of the dog That's here at the track. That's a small horse. AJ Ash lifts out to go six oh two. Lights it up five red. No matter. He's moving on, I think, in both entries to round I five. I believe so, yeah. Trusted by all since 1960. Jags! With customer service and technical support second to none, FTI Performance Converters and Transmission give you the winning edge. Just ask any of our customers, like 2014 IHRA Top Dragster World Champion Kevin Brannon or the 2014 IHRA Super Rod World Champion Mike Roth. We are real racers with real experience. Call us today at toll free at 866-726-8358 or visit us on the web at www.fdiperformance.com. Bonded. I didn't bond so much with the adults and their parents, you know what I mean? Because right. they, they must have known my level, level of intelligence. <laughs> but TJ, I bet he couldn't have been six years old or something you know oh, and megan was a year or whatever right behind him and they would wander around the pits and you know and he always had questions what about this hank and what about throttle stop and whatever and i mean like he would pose them you know very uh intellectually you know kind of tripped me up i think but I'm like wow. i don't i don't know i don't i don't do that you know but no so it was 
cool. And then I think I got to meet Troy. And then eventually we raced, you know, a lot with Mike and uh, Super Comp and stuff in Division Three. And then somehow I think I went through Johnny, through Mitch Smith and Lenny Ellison, and uh, got a little tighter with John. I went last year to Anderson, Indiana. We put the band back together, Mitch Smith and John and I, because you know, his boy Cody was at a circle car race there in Anderson, a big, big race, asphalt track. And Mitch set up a camper for us outside in the grass, and you know John had his, and we got to visit. And he didn't get to see John much, you know. He stayed busy with the team and the crew and his kid, and, and the wife was there because they did driver introductions and things. I guess it was a big points thing or something. And but it's good, they're good, very humble family. A lot of good people in this sport. Yeah. And you string it out over years, you meet a lot of great people. There are some bad ones. There are some characters, you know, yes. whatever. Champ loses an entry. Ricky Boggs, 15 dead five for the win in the left lane. I don't know. Was did was that the entry to claim the uh, uh, 22.03? The bounty? That was. So yeah. Ricky, Boggs Ricky Boggs claims the K and R Performance Engineering bounty that was on Stephen McCrory from his earlier win today. I'm gonna give him a little bit, but technically. Congratulations. Congratulations to Ricky Boggs for laying one down and being the first guy to beat Champ in two days. Okay, so Ricky Boggs doesn't get it. It's the oh, other entry. Yes, it's the other entry. Oh, check that. Ricky Boggs does not oh, claim the bounty. Ouch. He, he beat the wrong entry. He beat the wrong guy. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that, Ricky Boggs. Didn't mean to get your hopes up and, and crew. Joe did that. Joe Kerner yeah. is his name. Another mistake. Chalk it up. Yep. Joe's up here and uh, sitting to my right, so come up shooting. Get Joe. <laughs> Well, why wouldn't you? We saw that work yesterday. <laughs> Dry hops in a dragster. If I ever get to another final, I am going to do a dry hop. Uh, wow. Very confident of yourself. <laughs> if I ever. <laughs> it's when I get to my next final. Oh, I did say that wrong, didn't I? Yeah, thank you. Hello. <laughs> oh, my. Justin Fordyce had a little trouble getting up to the burn box, but he gets there, cuts a 20 light, five times quicker than Quan Spain. Quan Spain could add up all his lights from the weekend and not come up to the 100 light he just laid down. He's also 11 over, so. Yeah, 110, 60 foot. Nothing worked right for Quan Spain that run. Mm -hmm. Carr did not want to win that round. Who's that tiny guy over there on the wall? Trusted by all since 1960. Jay! Hey, where is that music coming from? Wow. He is on full tilt today. What? What did he do? Start drinking with you? Do we get this interview? <laughs> Good for Gary. You know, the main main objective of all this is to have fun.
Brandon Jones, left side, 514 dial. Squaring off against Scott Neal. Neal dialed 450, right side, out of Statesville, North Carolina. Statesville's a prison in Illinois. We got a lot of them. <laughs> got one in our hometown, maximum security. Got a lot of my family that are guards there and employed there and retired from there. And somehow I've managed not to participate in that system. Well, that's good. It ain't over yet. Over a half second head start. That's about half a car, huh? Oh, no. Car and a half. Away they go. Brandon Jones, 19 in the tree, two over five, gets him a nine thou margin of victory over Scott Neal, 43 in the tree, one over zero. No good. Slate Cummings, right side, brother to Britt. Hi, Britt, if you're watching. Leighton Sumter, left side, 453 in the left. Holy cow, the turtle is coming back. He is the polar opposite of Stanley Albritton Jr. Is he still really backing up? He is. You go, Leighton. Leighton, you do you, buddy. <laughs> He's still going back. And we're backing. Well, I think if the other guy did the three things, he put the in the three. Get ready, Leighton. Here we come. You better be ready. Slate, jump in there. 453 left, 444 right. Left lane, Leighton Sumter. I am ready for the starting line. 15 dead four gets the win in the left. Slate, no tardy after all that. Nine thou under, no good in that entry. Trip McCarty, right side, 477 dial. Gerald Thompson, left side, 466. This pair looks like they might be a little quicker to stage. A little quicker to do everything. Burnout, backup, stage. They're probably still on the track down there. Trip McCarty shows what he can do. 12 on the tree, dead two. Gerald Thompson breaks it out to Thou, but really not in the race. Trip McCarty taking 19. He's coming back for round five. Fuel. Check Friday 50K no box final to lanes one and two, please. Mike Gentile taking the advantage off the starting line. He goes 22, dead six, 28 total. Keith Russell in the left side, 41, dead zero, 13 thou behind for second place. Amy Farrell, 
take left lane, 462 dial. She'll be spotting a little head start to Nick Ferraro, right side, 471. Fun with flags with Dr. Amy Farrah Fowler and Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Commanding reaction time lead. Four on the tree, dead eight, 12 total. Amy Farrow, 20, dead zero. Eight thou behind. Nick Ferraro moving on. John Siegel, right side, 439 dial. McKenna Kitterman, 443 dial. Left lane. Big blower in the left, small blower in the right. Advantage in the left lane, McKenna Kitterman goes 15 dead one, 16 total. John Siegel, 41, dead four. 29 thou behind. It looks like it might be turning into a reaction time contest as every car is going dead on now. About it. The most runs you could have is what, 24? And if you were doubled, you could have 48 runs in, if you know what I mean, if you want to run up. You know, some of these people got 20, 30 laps in already by Friday night. Terry Sinkler, left side, 514. Scott Gibson Jr., 451, right side. Pair of double O's. 005 to Terrell Sinkler dead there. zero five total scott gibson goes nine on the tree doesn't have a prayer he does go dead four but he's eight thou behind 13 total and you're done that's tough i it's becoming more fun to watch than participate for myself at this point you see where i'm at my motor my motorhome and trailer is tucked away snug in the in the bed <laughs> everything's on jack stands hoods at the body shop engines are fresh just got another fresh bullet dropped off. Dave Triplett, 459 the dial. Kyle Coltrera, 460 the dial in the FTI. Performance, FTI on-site dragster. It's the only dragster that uh, Kyle hasn't broken yet this, this weekend. This week, I should say. We haven't made it to the weekend yet. to Kyle Coltrera. He turns it into a win on the double breakout. He's 11 thou under. Dave Triplett, 15 thou under. So we finally have a pair that does not both go dead on after four pairs of two side-by-side -side dead on runs. Michael Carpenter, 486 the dial left side. Brandon Taylor, 454 the dial right side. FTI performance, 50K round five door car. Red run stickers only to lanes one and two, please. It's close, down low. Brandon Taylor, 18 dead five, 23 total. 
takes the win as Michael Carpenter goes 15, one over one, three thou behind. Going to be a close one here all the way down. Jay Adams, 486, dial left side. Larry Hamby, 488, right side. Thou difference in reaction time. Larry Hamby goes 15, dead 6, 21 total. Jay Adams 12, 1 over 3, 4 thou behind. Four thou. Three thou and four thou. Around 140 miles an hour. We're talking less than a foot. So that and then looks if you break like it down, it's half a wheel on a dragster. That looks like it's wheel. Sean Sarah outside of the drag. It is. I, so this might be might his. might be Allison, the girlfriend. Thank you. All right. We were trying to come up with the name. I'm thinking it's her. Four she laid down. Five in the left. She's tough. She's Man. quicker than he is, lighter. <laughs> she was seven total last round. I think she was yeah. two dead five. She's tough. Yeah. Sarah covered right side, 443 the dial. goes double oh two and gets behind six thou she's 14 over after that double oh two light for 16 total Derek Hubbard nine dead one ten total moving on ouch I don't want I don't want to go to the meat locker. Jason Bader, 454 the dial left lane. Carson Brown, 463 the dial in the right lane. Carson Brown with the better reaction time. He goes nine, one over six. He's 25 total. He gets behind 35 thou as Jason Bader breaks it out a bunch. 26 thou. Carson Brown moving on. Jono Gerber, left side, 463 the dial. Mark Kelly, 469 the dial, right lane. Red, white, and blue, door cars, fuel tech, excuse me, FTI, 50K Friday. Round number five to the lane, please. Another tight matchup, three thou apart on the reaction time. Mark Kelly, 19, dead three, 22 total, six thou ahead of Jono Gerber, who was 16, one over two. Six thou, the difference. Again, we're hovering right around that one foot mark. Difference in distance at the finish line at 140 plus. Aaron McCullough, 474 the dial, left lane, facing off against the fastest dial-in of the week right now, Travis Laster Jr. dials up a 404. What do you think? Under or over 404 on this pass? Over. 
I guess that is a safe bet. We haven't seen anything faster. Although he does hold. He went 410 with a zero on his 410 dial a couple rounds ago. Aaron McCullough's in trouble. Wow, 178. Oh my lord. <laughs> I, Aaron McCullough, 36 on the tree, dead six. Travis Laster, six on the tree. Two over with a nine at 178 miles an hour. He's been around 171. Yeah, he, there was he pushed on the gas extra hard that time. Huh. Wow. That 178. It raised up about 1800 RPM there in the middle of the track. Wow. Oh well, good for him. Brianna Costello left lane now, 471 the dial. Isaac Harris, 455 the dial. Now it seems like 455 is whole home after just seeing that pass. Yeah, that's a Ridiculous. 404 dialing. <laughs> I think he could have won it. He won it, you know. I thought I thought he pedaled it. I know he did. Brianna in control. Oh, she gives it back two thousand. Oh boy. Double oh three and four above. Let's say five above to get behind two thousand for Brianna. Winner right lane. McKenna Brown, 459 in the left. Will Holloman, 454 in the right. Silver Fox looking on. Cleve, Daddy Cleve looking on. Mama Nisa. I can't see if she's down there or not. Well, she's down there. Brad says she's down there. Yeah, after last night's uh, yeah. trouble for McKenna, Silver Fox gets the jigs.com entry turned around and winning rounds again. Put an oil pump in it, in between rounds. Mm-hmm. That's fast. Put the smack down on Will Holloman. 006 and one over for the win in the left. Will Holloman, 25 in the right. And 16 thou under, he was locked out. CJ Keene, left side, 446. Travis Laster, 430, right side. Travis Laster, senior, I bet. I should say it that way, shouldn't I? Good. Junior just went down. Junior just went down. Wearing out his dad's house. And rotated the earth, yeah. yeah. Travis Laster Sr., 007 for the reaction time, dead 8, 15 total. CJ Keene was 14, 5 thou under. Travis Laster Sr., moving on. David Bird Jones in a borrowed dragster. Dials 451, left side. Jeff Burns, 435, right lane. Bird Jones taking this stuff seriously now. He's seven on the tree, one over four to be ahead, nine thou over Burnsy. Can I say he needs round. a Blue Beacon sponsorship? 
can't say that. I need to say that. What? David Bird Jones needs a blue beacon to sponsorship. I, I don't think that's a wrong thing to say. Yeah. David, check it out. You better call him. I think he washes cars or something for pressure washers for a living. Yes, he does. He just well then he's then he's like me, you know. Your your cars are the worst last ones to get worked on. That's why. Not yeah. you though. Your truck's in tip top shape. Well, I got a little more time on my hands than most oh. guys. I think everything I own has a check engine light on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or a toggle switch for the blower. Or... <laughs> oh. 005 dead on eight for Steven in the chat. McCrory in the right side. Patrick Miller left side 14 and 18th. I wonder he's going to get a lose ticket down there. And so ends round five in dragsters. Round four, excuse me. Yeah. James! Once we've got our center line figured out on our engine and ground height, that's when we start making our motor mounts. Santa has a new sleigh this year. Trusted by all since 1960. What you want, when you want it, at a price you want to pay. Jags! She's melted the switch a couple times. She leaves it on all the time, and then it kills the battery. So she calls me all the time. I've been jump-starting that vehicle all over Dixon. She's not a big fan. She's like, I'm just going to go get a new car and give you a bill. I'm like, go pick it out then. Tim Butler, left side, 606 the dial. Kevin Pollard, right side, 549 the dial. This is our no box final. No delay box in these two cars. It's weird not seeing Nick Hastings in this final, but Nick had a wedding tomorrow for a friend in Ohio, and he chose his uh, loyalty to his friend versus going racing for a living. So, miss you, Nick Hastings, Grandma Joanne Hastings. Separates them up front. One of them was 015. How about Tim Butler? Triple zero, dead six. Going to the final. Or I'm sorry, he's going into what? Round number five? Six. six. Round number six of door cars. Kevin Pollard was 015 on the tree. Breaks out three thou and still six thou behind at the finish line. Tim Butler, six pack. And moving on. Not a good six-pack. Into the door cars. Not like a six-pack of Budweiser. Six-pack four beer. Right. Customer service and technical support, second to none. FTI performance converters and transmission give you the winning edge. Just ask any of our customers, like 2014 IHRA Top Dragster World Champion Kevin Brannon, or the 2014 IHRA Super Rod World Champion Mike Roth. We are real racers with real experience. Call us today at toll-free at 866-726-726. 8358 or visit us on the web at www.fdiperformance.com AJ Ash right side 572 the dial in Scotty Richardson 641 the dial in the left AJ still doubled Scotty's got just the one bullet SR1 left hand side This would be, I'd like to be a fly on the finish line wall down there and watch this one up close. I guarantee you both of them can go under the dial in the window. Thirteen thousandths of a second, separates them up front, advantage, Ash, wind light, Ash. Two, dead nine, 11 total, locks out Scotty Richardson. 
who was 0 15 on the tree, dead nine, good enough for 13, a foul behind at the finish line. AJ Ash, moving on. Door cars, final call for all door cars to round five, please. Todd Burks and Tucker Creech, our next pair. Burks, got one entry left, staying alive with it. Left side dialed in at 643. And Tucker Creech, over on the right-hand side, dialed in at 594. Four thousandths of a second, stuff racing up front. Advantage, Creech. Wind light, Creech. 018 on the tree, it is a double breakout. Creech under by four thousandths of a second. Todd Burks is under by seven thousandths of a second. Tucker Creech moving on. Mark Talmadge and Jared Nauman gonna be our next pair. Talmadge left side dialed in at 602. Nauman right side dialed in at 557. All run color dragster round five. Nick Perot, you are the drag race solutions.com. Potential wait and see by all dragsters. Round number five to the lanes, please. Two thousand separate them up front here. Advantage to Nauman and Winlight going to go to Nauman. 24, dead three, 27 total. Mark Tomage was 026 on the tree, dead four, and a few thousand behind at the stripe. Jared Nauman moving on. Josh Gannett, left lane, 603, the dial, Maryland, last year, 571, the dial, the right, Mama, Maryland, on the right side. Wonder if her daughters are watching. They're at college, maybe, like, rocket science, both of them, something, dude, dude, smart girls. Yeah, for real. 